I've come to a point in my life where I needed a bunk bed. I wasn't particularly happy with what was available at the store, at least in my price range, so I decided to build one. This is built mostly out of 2x6s and a 2x4, and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And of course I had to make it techie somehow, so in this build I integrated 3D printing, laser cutting, and of course some LED lighting, some RGB LED lighting. Follow along to see how I made it. I put a lot of thought into this build and I hopefully it's one of the simplest builds you can do. You could make it simpler than I'm going to make it here, but I think it's going to be a really simple design, really sturdy. So follow along to see how I did it. I'll have yeah possibly some more information online. Here I've got the wood clamped up, um, so I'm going to put some cuts in this four at a time. I've got my Harbor Freight clamps and I'm going to use my Ryobi saw on this. Got it in the package with this drill that I made the 3D printed fixture for, so you know, check that out if you want. So I'll set that up and, and do the cuts right here. Technically, this is a optional operation. I designed this initially so that the, the two by or that the two by sixes on the outside would fit on the outside. Somebody suggested some dovetails, and that gave me the idea to kind of recess them. So I'm going to do that right here. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I thought it'd look a lot better for the finished product. Well, there's my 3D printed jig that I was so proud of. It's, I guess I'm gonna have to restart that again. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a big problem. A nice ball of, nice ball of filament. So I'll clean that off and maybe restart it. All right, do a little, cleaned it off, did a little bit of a purge. So hopefully, hopefully we're, we're in business. So what I'm gonna do here is mark this using the jig, trying to line it with the top with this 7 16th inch paddle bit. So I'll mark this, like so. Let's see, marker two, so I got that. And then I'll go ahead and drill this to 3 eighths of an inch with this 13 16th paddle bit, so I'll have a bit of a recess in it. Now I'll change this up to a 7 16th inch bit so the bolts can actually fit through there and rest kind of closer to flush. One thing about this though, when you do this, you have to make sure that you don't cut the four pieces on the wrong side because at that point it can be mirrored and I've certainly made that mistake before. Looking good. Well, there's one side of it that's looking pretty good. Hopefully I won't get this mixed up as far as getting things backwards, but I think I've got it, so it'll work. So this is gonna be the actual horizontal bed supports. Had these, um, bought these two by sixes right, right there, and then these two by threes I had, uh, had left over from another project. So this should be just enough to, uh, to support the bed or the bed frame or whatever you call it. You know, lumber's expensive these days. It's 2021 in the summer, so gotta, gotta cut some costs where I can, I guess. Here I'll be using a few of these T-nuts. They're 3816, bought them from Amazon. Good thing is I can use the same template here, so plug it in here, mark it, and then, and then drill it with a half inch paddle bit. You know, once it's drilled through, then I can attach it. Well, I'll stop in just a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, okay. So I made a bit of a bit of a mistake here in that and that these screws, these wood screws poke poke through it kind of obstruct me putting the, the button head screws through here. So probably what I'll do is I'll loosen them and then cut them off and screw them back in. Then pro probably put a third bolt right here to secure it a bit more. It is glued, so that gives a little bit of extra reinforcement, I suppose. Another mistake I made here, which you may notice, is that I didn't I didn't countersink it initially. Should have done that to begin with, but I, I fixed that with a three quarter inch drill. Looks kind of shoddy, but this won't really be seen from the way the room is. So I made some really good progress on this bed so far. It's, it's almost done. One thing that I have to do is got two by sixes here and then two by threes on the bottom so that basically this will support the slats that I'll buy from, well, you know, Costco or whoever, maybe Amazon. <laughs> Might come down to that. Ikea is actually sold out of their slats right now because, you know, summer of 2021, wood's, wood and other stuff's kind of hard to come by. Other thing that I did here, normally I would have bought, you know, two by threes for this whole thing, but I'm using kind of kind of the scrap wood that I have left over. Got these bottom ones on and I'm gonna put the top top ones on, drill them, drill them in right now. I've been a little loath to use uh, cordless power tools, but I'll tell you what it is. It is quite helpful to just be able to sling this around and use it wherever, even for, um, you know, screw assembly. In fact, I pretty much used hand tools before this, which this is way faster. Two by two, I'm gonna line up with that, but that's gonna leave a little space underneath it. So I might put some lighting or something underneath that eventually. is I weigh about 245 pounds so we'll see see how it does with me on it not too bad swinging a little bit but a bit better than the ones I saw at the hardware store or the furniture store so uh, say pretty successful I rubbed a bit of sawdust and wood glue on here so hopefully that'll keep help prevent any sort of crack propagation and keep this a little sturdier Pretty happy with the beds coming out so far. We'll see. I don't know. Should look great once we get it stained, urethaned, and the beds on it. I'm not really supposed to use a Dyson vacuum cleaner for this kind of shop work, but you know, we'll just keep that to ourselves, right? Problem is, this is a two inch bolt. What I needed was a two and a half inch bolt. It kind of bores just a little bit, a little bit deep there, but it'll be okay. I initially put these, these anchors in, these T-nuts in without any sort of countersink or anything. I thought about it, but kind of forgot to do it. I just used this, this, this is not a paddle bit, but I used a paddle bit on this to kind of make rough, rough edges on it. Do the same with that. Hopefully that'll work out. I should have done it earlier when I thought about it, but you know, such such is life, I guess. Now I don't know where the screw is, so oh, there it is. So that's just about flush with the wood now, so nobody's gonna hopefully scrape their hands on it or anything. Take this one out. Do the same to this. Kind of shoddy, but better than getting a cut or something. 
And again, I'm not sure why I placed the stuff, so. Oh, and there it is. I'm gonna use this for the dust back again, you know, just to keep this between ourselves, okay? All right, that's the last time, I think, maybe. This worked fine, but then I sucked up like this big stick and got it clogged, and you know, from then on, I was like, probably shouldn't use it as a dust pack, and I, I'd agree with that, so. Actually, I made a little holder for it that's over there somewhere. I, I did a video a long time ago about it. It's 93.2 degrees. So now that everything's pretty much filled, it's time to stain it and make it look good. All things considered, I'm quite happy with how these turned out, especially since I didn't even pay attention to the, the speed or anything. As far as whether they actually plug in, let's, let's see how it works. Look at that. Man, life is better with a laser. Well, this one's a little rough, so... Maybe I'll knock it off with a chisel or something. Nah, yeah, not so bad. So I figure I can cover this up with the urethane and it'll look pretty good. I left these plugs unstained, which I think gives it a nice, uh, nice contrast. I try to put the grain up at 90 degrees to the grain of the, the bed itself. So happy with how that's turning out. Oh, it's really hot here. It's uh, mid-August in Florida. So at this point, I put two coats of stain on here as well as two coats of urethane. Clear semi-gloss is what I'm using here. Looks really good at this point, but I think what I'm gonna do is put one more cut of urethane on and then I'll be done. It did, does take a, quite a while to do this. I'll do some sanding first and then put a coat of urethane and we can disassemble it and then put it in the kid's room. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bed apart and hopefully it'll go back together. All the bolts are out here. And there it is. I may have a little bit more work to do with it. Got uh, maybe a hole to fill in or something. Hopefully this will go back together and the monkey board will fit and it'll be just a great bed. But I guess we'll see. I thought I'd get these LED lights and see how they looked on the bed. Wow, you get a lot of stuff for like 11, 12 bucks or whatever it was. Well, larger remote control than I expected. Should work okay though. So we'll plug this in and see what happens. Oh, look at that. Easy setup, at least for this. Just gotta take this off, I guess, and turn it on. Turn it off. Blue, red, green, blue. Very cool. But I've got it from the power source to the main power supply, and then I've got it broken out with with some Cat6 cable. Red's right there, green, blue, or white, or all kinds of other combinations. This will go to the bottom, it's a little bit shorter, and I think this is like five feet to the top, so this will connect to the outlet, and then I'll run this to the top, and this to the bottom. Maybe you'll see something like, something like this show up in some of my other projects.
he was, he was happy with it, of course. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're looking to make your own bed, perhaps this gave you some inspiration. I enjoyed the build, and I'm, I'm very happy with how it turned out. If you did enjoy it, perhaps you'll give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to see what comes up next, or check out my channel to see all the other stuff that I build. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy Cook, signing off.